little bit of a historical perspective here. This is a August of 1958 of Road and Track. Okay, and that is, I think, a predecessor to a Cheetah. And, uh, God, I wonder if anybody's got a model of that. Yeah, I do. That's a little HO scale uh, Aurora model motoring model. And there's your uh, split window 63 Corvette model. That's just a little thing I set up kind of for fun. But we were talking about pan hard rods. And I told you that it was named after a French car company. And uh, there is a pan hard right there. So nobody does anything like the French, and the French don't do anything like anybody else, hardly. And with look, you get right down to it. So this is a, this book is, a, I've had this for a very long time. Uh, there's the Austin Healy Sprite review. Well, I thought it was. I'm a little scared of the thing. I don't think this is that acid paper. Okay, but there's the review on the Austin Healy Sprite. The one I had had the only option, I think, one of the only, was a wooden steering wheel, so if you had a crash, you could get wood splinters in your eyes. So, they, they didn't say too much of about it. Well, I think the handbrake broke the first time they pulled it. I kind of remember reading that. So uh, anyhow, there's uh, Continental. This is a pretty interesting little book. I think there's a there's a good article in here about oil. Can't really mess with it much anymore. It's just a little too fragile. You know. So it's just sort of fun. The ads are real fun. A feckless example. So Amco, we've all dealt with their floor mats. And uh, they make good stuff, or they did. And there's a Pirelli ad. And there's an MGA. Had one of those. There's an old Morgan. And uh, Solex, Volkswagen stuff. And other car companies. That's a funny. You can get a Volkswagen and make a kit car out of it. What do you know? Even in 1958, I had a brother-in-law that did the dune buggy switch over and you could get superchargers that would be fun to look at classified uh let's see for monza so sixty five hundred dollars okay there's your judson superchargers imagine putting that on your volkswagen at the time be better than that and here's the coup de grassy here there's the uh the Jaguar XK150 and there she is with the Jaguar Meow. so that's my thing but I only wanted to show you is that Panhar company did make uh, those things I really I went through the book and I really couldn't find a good diagram in the Austin Healy book of the of the setup of the uh, rear suspension but you know I'll show you what it looks like later I've been trying to, I had to order some new tires for the Healy, uh, just because I don't have a date code like we saw in the last video. So I found the lug bolts, they have a real funky pitch. Uh, when I got this thing, it was missing some. I'd sit on the grinder and sort of grind a couple of those out. But the pitch is, uh, it's 7 16 20, if you were wondering. And uh, let's see, what else was like, oh yeah. And, uh, you know, the way you measure uh, wheels as you go from the, across one to the other, skipping one, and you get whatever it is, and you add a quarter. So it's a five by five. And uh, so I've got, I might have to get some spacers because I can't get tires anymore. I got some, uh, let me bring them up and I'll show you what I'm getting. And maybe, maybe, maybe they'll work. If not, I'll have to space them out because you can tell. If you watch my videos, how the tires rub on the inside of the thing. I think they're they're 165 15s. Uh, they're missing some other numbers in there, but uh, those tires are a little bit too old. So I got those from a place that 
I think didn't really do me real good. So I got some 150. So let's see what I got coming here. I kind of forgot. So I got these. Uh, and we're going to see if those are going to fit. And all I can do is try. I'm going to pull the wheels off and clean them and powder coat them. And we'll see how it goes. So uh, wheel not included. Dadgummit. So, well, I'll just have to get them mounted and see. And then I'll have to... Go to a place I don't want to go to for spacers. I don't really like spacers, but I just may not have a may not have a uh, choice. So 15580R15s. We'll see how good or bad that is. Well, today's project is going to be uh, involving the Austin Healy and a bunch of other things. I don't know how many parts this is going to be, but I got these 155. Not a sponsor. Uh, tires for the Healy since those are so uh, rotten on here old they're not really that bad but they're just old so I'm gonna take the, uh, the the trim rings off the beauty rings I'm gonna take the wheels off gonna take them get these old tires knocked off and we're gonna powder coat these uh, chrome that ought to be cool so what little bit you can see will be right in here and uh, we'll see about I think I'm gonna put those trim rings back on I like them see it's got them little lines in them I kind of like that it sort of goes with the the idiom of the car so I've got the air compressor going let's get these off and on the back of the truck and uh, I gotta do something jack it up and uh, front and back I don't know I'll do something and uh, we'll get these uh, into town and uh, start working not sure how I'm going to strip the paint off these yet, but uh, I'll do it somehow. I'm not going to buy any paint strip or anything. I'm just, if I have to, I'll just use heat. But I'd like to powder coat the back of them black and, and the front of them chrome and see how that goes. As we all know, sometimes black under chrome makes chrome look better. Actually, if you buy the little spray cans of chrome, they'll come with black and chrome. So I don't know. I'll have to think about it. See what we're doing when we get there. But it's so flipping cold. Uh, you know it's cold if I'm wearing a jacket. And, uh, and it's super, super windy, and the wind's coming from the south that direction, so I, I, I can't open the window for too long. So let's get some lights on, let's get that air going, and uh, filled up, and uh, get, this, get these things out on the truck. And not Oh, these are 165s, that's what I was going to say. I've already kind of measured them uh, with a, <laughs> what I used was a little uh, clamp, like a woodworking clamp, and those are narrower and I was afraid I was going to have to get some wheel spacers or something but we'll see these actually uh, here I'll, I'll show you in a minute when I get them all off and I, where, how they hit they hit when you turn and they hit in the back as we've talked about on a previous video so we're going to uh, we're going to make that make that stop make it stop now once again I don't mind tires being a little narrower your patch on the road is a little smaller, but you got more downforce. It's on how you look at it. This car will hopefully never, ever see an interstate. I had a friend, well, he wasn't a friend, I knew a guy who I drove a 1960 MGA on uh, the interstate here locally. Fool, don't do that. <laughs> but he did it, and, uh, at, at my, and an MGA is like, what? Uh, 80 60 percent of this car and this car ain't big my goodness is that ever ugly without that trim ring on it so these are uh tubeless that's good and we're going to i always like when i take them to the tire store i like that's just my way Whew, those trim rings really help Wow, what a day. Terrible windy. So I looked up a new oil pan. This thing's beat up pretty good. They're $800 for an alloy pan. Now I can't recommend that on a number of fronts. Sorry about the wind. This is, that's the reason I don't pick up too much around here. All right, so and I promised to show you one other thing. Good golly, I can't wait to get in the truck. It's got somewhat decent heat. Uh, 
So yeah, there's all them weights. I'd be glad to get rid of them. Uh, you see this bar right here? You see that what I'm pointing at right there? That, that bar that goes across to here? And it goes to the body right here. There's, this is the frame. And there's a there's a, a big bracket right there. And uh, come up from behind, you can probably see it better that way. This, my friends, oh, sorry about that, me too, is a pan hard rod. This rod goes from the frame and it goes to the spring uh, brace over there thing. And that's what keeps the axle from, t from, from, axle from twisting. The axle from twisting. And uh, so this has got one of the shortest drive shafts in the world. I mean, it's ain't little. There's my SU pump, it looks good. It's not leaking anywhere. Oh, that's the old kind. Okay, so I can't remember from one to the other what's what here. And I, I must have cleaned up where that fire happened in here. So anyway, that's not a problem anymore. So uh, look at all them weights. That's just got one. So looks like I did a pretty good job on the brake lines there, the brake uh, slave cylinders. Everything looks good and dry. Okay, well we were down here not long ago, so. Anyway, I promised you I'd show you the pan hard ride. And then I was remembering when I was sitting in the house about that oil pan being kind of beat up. So if anything, if it ever starts leaking, uh, I'll cut the bottom of it and weld, weld something on it. For $800, you can, you can buy a lot of a lot of tires for that. Let's, uh, let's get this in jacked up. You can tell I got it on wood up there. I think I'm going to put some more wood up there. Just kind of for fun. So the front wheels had those two weights. It's quite a lot for a front wheel. This had three weights. One of them's kind of little, so it had a lot of weights on it. And uh, y'all remember when you used to get the tires that had the little dot on them? And if you, they say if you lined the dot up on the valve stem, it would be balanced. I hope nobody believed that. But that's all that had on that back one. So it's not too bad. Well, that's pretty scary, isn't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her on the ground. I don't think I can leave here with her up like that. So that's pretty, pretty nerve-wracking. Although I do trust that jack right there. I just, I just want her, I just want her, want her down. So, okay. Shocks aren't leaking. Listen to that wind. Oh, that's the bottom of the seat right there where Mick used to sit. All right, shackles look good. I think I did all that. You can tell I oiled the springs recently. Good golly. Woo! There's a jungle out there, boy. Right, well, there they all are, ready to go. See where it was rubbing? See, I told you I'd show you where it was rubbing, so I gotta paint that. And uh, there's some electrical work there. All looks good. I know for a fact there was a, an accident down here, but the shackles look good. Yeah, I took those off and rebuilt those a year or two ago. Okay. All right, so everything looks good. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to show you. See, you can see where the front tire was hitting there. Uh, and I don't turn this thing real sharp, so I could hear it. So I'm looking forward to all that going away. Uh, and this didn't hit so hard, but it maybe did a little bit. So, anyway, all right, well, let's, let's go to the place, right? Right. So if you'd like to play, sign up on the tire dude said that those tires were from, uh, nine, I mean, 2005. So, you know, that's, uh, going on 20 years old. So, let's, uh, let's be glad those are, are going to be going to the bin. And it's time for the Mozart Cafe, say. <laughs> okay, all home. There they are. They actually look pretty good. I didn't remember what they looked like inside, but there's no rust in them. So that's good. So it's just too, it's just too dang brutal. So I just brought Daphne in and put all, all the 
cars away and everything and I did get that so I wasn't gonna do that but for twenty dollars I figure I get a little stripper so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rough those up with a wire wheel on a on an air tool or something and just uh, bake them and then uh, then put the stripper on them and then get the power washer and just just clean them best I can and I think that'll be fine so too bad I can't work on the heat leak because it's up on the it's up on blocks so I don't want to do that rear brake work right now we're just gonna let her sit let her sit still well it's uh, 2.21 p.m. We're right on the brink of freezing <laughs> outside. Uh, it's 11-something uh, mile an hour or better winds get gust up to 20. And I've been trapped in the house all day and I can't stand it anymore. I'm going to try to go do one wheel, uh, strip it, and then uh, I'm going to come right back up here. Cause it's just it's just too much it's just it is it is a it is a brutal jungle out there uh, I might write Mick and tell him I've almost put two shirts on but it's not quite quite that bad yet for me anyway this would be like seven or eight shirts for me so in the barn is 27 degrees I turned the water on up at the house but the valves are frozen so no water I'm going to I'm going to plug along anyway. I'm going to get one of them rims and I'm going to turn the oven on and I'm going to open that back door and uh do what I can here. Uh I just curious to see how this uh stripper I wasn't going to get is going to do. I mentioned I wasn't going to get any and then I ended up getting some, but I had to kill time the other day getting those tires off, so I decided I'd go up and get some. Well, let's uh let's go turn everything on, I suppose. Oh, the air compressor didn't take long that's good so here's my tool of choice here with my little regulator on it and uh here's the oven of choice and uh i really can't i guess i'm just gonna just heat it up let's see if that'll close all the way no so here's what you got to do if you end up in this situation What it is, is uh, uh, that lip right there. And I need to get that fan in there. That thing's in the way too, I don't like. Let's go, let's go up one. And then that way the rim will, right here, will hit right there. Let's try not to break the glass out of it. So it ought to go in there now. See, I told you. So we're gonna just, we're not gonna go that hot. We're just gonna just warm them up some. Okay, well, you've seen people warm up an oven before. Okay, I got my breathing stuff on. So uh, I'm gonna be a little muffled. And I'm just gonna let this run. Might have a lot of editing. But the wheel's been in the oven for about 15 minutes at like 300. So I think I'm going to be able to rough it up a little bit with my wire wheel, which you're about to see. Okay? <laughs> got, my, got my good gloves here. All right. Yeah, that feels good. What's it look like in frame here? Oh, that's pretty good, okay. Okay. Give me the other. Give it a little bit more go.
you're going to have to get uh, another. I'm going to have to get another kind of wheel to get down in here. So I'll be back shortly. 7 16th, 11 16th. Yeah. Okay. I got a new thing on. And it's. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Okay, yeah, it's better. I've noticed where everybody's doing videos with their uh, heaters running. There's a reason for that. Uh, so this is what I'm using. Not a sponsor. And I do know for a fact that you gotta get this to get it open. Turn it away from your face. Okay. And uh, put it in a separate container. Okay. And I don't know how much I'm gonna need, but... That looks pretty good and thick. I'm okay with that. Let's not use too much right off. So I got about that much in there. And we got this little brush here. So I even clean chip brushes. So let's just get this on here and just see how it goes. Okay, air com Ooh, silver paint already coming off. Oh, boy, that's quick. Ooh, that stinks. Wow, that means business there. I'm just going to just put it on here and I'm going to put it back in the oven and let it sit a little bit. Now, I know I got to, boy, that stuff's really taking it off like with a vengeance. Okay. And that's all you needed, too. I don't think I need much more than that. Whew. Good golly. That is fumey. Glad I didn't buy a gallon of the stuff. You know, stuff does go bad. Get around there and where the hubcaps go on. So I'm just going to let that sit for a while. And then I'm just going to get some paper towels and just wipe it out. Okay, well this is really all I wanted to kind of do. I kind of just wanted to do a a test run on Ooh, God. wish I could open the doors all right yeah I see it buckling up already I don't, it's only been a couple of minutes I don't think I need to put it back in the oven I think you just stink the place up I think it's warm enough out here so the back side of the thing's just nasty but I can't do anything about it Good gosh, that that is. I wonder if that takes powder coating off. Good as it takes paint off. I think that's dire straits, but I don't know. Well, this could just be round one, so I used all of that. Put the lid back on it. Put it back over here. Well, that gets a that gets a laurel and hearty handshake there. I think I'm just going to turn the oven off. Look at that; it's just coming right off. I'm not put that back in the oven. Just turn all that off. Woo! Stinky enough. All right, we'll let it sit there for a couple more minutes. It's been about five minutes, and uh, if I could go out there and power wash that, that'd be the best. Uh, I love these kind of paper towels because they biodegrade easily, and they're real cheap buy a big old bunch of them I don't I don't buy bounty and stuff like that look at that I'm impressed so uh, if you had it's kind of dangerous stuff there because it's uh, it's probably very flammable at this point well, that answers that question well, I have no fears now, because if I had to give this a couple goes, see, there's a couple of layers on there. What do you know from 1957?
but the first layer's gone. And uh, yeah, if I could just get, uh, just throw that right there. Okay. All right. Let's go back up at the house. What time is it? It's uh, it's three o two. That was brutal. So I don't know what time I went down there, but it's about three fifteen now. I'm all up here, all cozy, comfy. So uh, that's gonna be it for this installment, because I'm not gonna be able to get down there for probably about three days. So I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate uh, liking and subscribing and. I got some comments today on some older stuff uh, from years ago, and that's just fine. You just I, sometimes I have to rewatch my stuff to see what I was talking about. But anyway, thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll talk later. It's time we're after. Okay, bye bye. We'll do something on this or something else. Something else will happen. Always does. That's what I like about it.